<laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Welcome back. I am Chef Hoods. Welcome to the Casa de Hoods cooking show. Today we're going to do something uh, really nice that I love. I love spicy food. Uh, we're going to do a chili oil. Uh, my mom showed me how to make this chili oil with uh, chile de arbol, which is bird beak chile. Okay. Um, so let's get it started. Simple ingredients. Um, nothing too crazy. Yeah. All right. Today's ingredients will be garlic. Fresh garlic. We have... Uh, Bird's Peak Chile or Chile de Arbol. Uh, it has a Scoville about around 30,000. So it's pretty hot, all right? So, you know, add as much as you need. Salt, black pepper, and you have your canola, all right, guys? So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take it on the stove. We're gonna toast the, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of canola oil. We're gonna toast the chiles and the garlic together. But first, what you wanna do is drop the garlic first. So it's gonna take a little longer because the chiles will smoke up the house really quickly and they will burn really fast. So first we wanna get done is the garlic. Toast that for about two, three minutes. Get it nice and brown, nice and beautiful. Um, after that, we'll add our chiles, toast them a little bit, and then we will knock them into our blender and blend everything together, refuse with our oil. All right, guys? Alright guys, so now we have our garlic looking like the right consistency, nice little brownish, not burnt, a little flavor, you know. Alright, we're going to take it out, we're going to add our chiles. Alright guys, make sure you open up a window because this is going to burn your eyes. So quick little toast. You can automatically, as soon as you hit the pan, you can just smell it already. So we're gonna toast it for about 30 seconds, alright guys? Let's keep stirring it that way. Keep stirring it for about 30 seconds. Woo! You can taste the chile in your mouth already and in your nose. <coughs> but oh yeah, some good stuff though. Alright guys, so we got about another 15 seconds going on here. Come on baby, let's go. Let's go. Alright. You know, watch that flip cam action. All right. So five, four, three, two, uno. All right, guys. And that's it. We take them out. All right. So we got our chiles nice and toasted now. Mmm. You can smell it right off the bat. All right. So we're gonna take our little blender. I have a ninja blender here. You can use whatever blender you like. All right. So we're just gonna dump our chiles in the blender. Dump everything in here, and here I have about a cup and a half, one and a half cups of oil. We're gonna dump. I'll say about a good, good cup. Should just open the cap, right? Should just open the. All right, that's about a cup. Let's try that, and if we need to add more, we will add more. Now what happened to my blade? Hmm. There we go. Thank you, chaps. All right, guys. So we have our chiles ready to go away. All right. Noise warning. <laughs> yeah, noise warning. I need. So I'll go to twenty seconds. All right. As you can see, everything got mixed in really well. Eventually, everything's gonna separate. The chilies are gonna settle at the bottom. The oil's gonna come to the top. You're gonna have a separation. All right. Now, depending on the consistency, you need to grab a spoon. Mm -hmm. Skirt. All right. All right, so consistency, right? We have the consistency you want. The more oil, the more oily you want it, to add more oil. If you want it more thicker, 
like I said, it separates, okay? So we're gonna add the salt this time. All right, in about six clicks. We can add some whole black pepper. All right, there you go there, guys. All righty, all right, we're gonna give this guy a taste. Let's give it a nice, all right, and let's taste it. Let's taste it with a chip. Pop some chips, you know. All right, see how hot that's gonna be. Mmm, that's really good. Who has a nice kick to it as well. But I love the fact that you can taste that garlic comes out straight out the bat. Taste the garlic and then you hit that chile. Just, ah, what is that, uh, 30,000 Scotchville? 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 Scovis. Scovis. Thank you. Mmm. That's some good stuff. You can use this. Put this on anything. Um, I like putting this on my ramen. When I make ramen, I like putting a little bit on top of the ramen. I like putting on some of my birria, some of my taquitos, you know. Anything you like, adding spicy stuff or spiciness to, add a little bit of this, get a nice kick, all right? So, I have a little mason jar here, all right? We got a little mason jar that we're gonna put it in so you can stay nice and fresh. Let's pour this in here. All right. And there you go, guys. We have our chile de arbol, all right? Let me know how you like it, comment, subscribe, hit the link, join us for the next following video. Once again, I am Chef Hoods, welcome to Mikasa. I'm out.